Brutal is one word that we're using to describe this winter, and yeah, there has been a few unique aspects. Uh, and really a lot of the thanks goes to our Canadian neighbors to the north, about uh, 1,200 miles to our northwest up in Hudson Bay. Uh, a lot of the, the low pressure in the jet stream has been centered up there, and that's a little bit unusual. Uh, more unusual is that the persistence, week after week after week of low pressure up there, opens the door for cold air to come barreling down through the Canadian uh, plains into upstate New York and New England. And that has caused our, our temperatures to be a lot below normal uh, for the months of uh, February at least. Coupled with that, we've had a number of storms then that have formed along that same jet stream and you bring together the combination of uh, really intense Arctic cold and this energy along the jet stream, we get storms that form and picks up moisture from the Atlantic and then has uh, provided us this abundance of snow here. Kind of when we think of our typical snowstorm, especially here in Boston, one of the things we're thinking of are uh, lots of trees coming down and high winds and power outages. And because of the cold air this year, that's really not the sorts of damage we're seeing. Uh, what you find is the snow that we're getting may be 20, 25 inches, but it's very light, fluffy snow because of the cold temperatures. Uh, in a more typical year, the, that, that snow will be wetter, it'll stick to uh, branches and, and power lines, and when the wind blows on that, uh, it causes um, lots of immediate damage. You see tree limbs coming down, power goes out, that causes business interruption, uh, and actually pipe bursts in the long run because as you lose your power, you also lose the heat. This year what we're seeing is more of an accumulated effect of all the storms. Uh, while any one of these storms has been light and fluffy, now that we've gathered uh, as much snow as we have, now we're seeing more and more roof collapses. Uh, we're get, getting up close to about 150 roof collapses uh, up through the month of February so far and we'll likely see more. Uh, in addition, really widespread reports of ice dams are also the other big issue. Ice dams form when you get the snow on the roof uh, melts and then refreezes, especially at the eaves and along the gutters. Uh, and then if you've got a, a, a poorly insulated part of the home or if you've got uh, places where that water can seep in underneath the, the shingles and the roofing structure, uh, then you can find that water gets in, does structural damage, stam damage to your building, but also can cause contents damage uh, as that water drips on everything within your house. Uh, because it hasn't been a lot of the immediate sorts of damage we see with the power outages and those sorts of things, uh, and this is a little bit different. We suspect that the um, total impact and extent of the claims is going to take a little bit of a while to um, be known because we have to get the snow to melt and then really get more inspections onto roofs. Uh, and while some of the claims are already starting to come in, we'll expect that they'll continue to roll in uh, through March and even into April. Looking at the long-term outlooks, it looks like we may have another storm or two before this is all said and done. That's what we want to hear. Oh. Yeah.